Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coolum video, another plug side chat. Now, I was going to talk about this a little bit earlier, but uh, we got kind of sidetracked with the uh, news of GM's transition and layoffs. So the timing though is actually very appropriate uh, because it sort of informs that decision that GM was making. And I think it's good news for the United States overall. Uh, good news for manufacturing in the U.S. and good news for electric vehicle adoption. A Korean company, SK Innovation, just stated that it was investing a billion dollars to build a battery facility in Georgia that they expect to be open next year in 2019. Now, this is really big, uh, literally, actually, too, because this plant is going to be able to produce 9.8 gigawatt hours of batteries each year. To put that into perspective, that's more than double what the LG Chem plant in Holland that they're working with GM and others to produce batteries with is only 4 gigawatt hours per year. And in terms of say 200 mile electric vehicles, well, a 9.8 gigawatt hour factory is enough to produce batteries for about 150,000 200 mile electric vehicles each year. We're looking at a massive increase in the number of batteries that will be available for electric vehicles that are being built in the United States. And I have a hard time believing that a company would just blindly invest a billion dollars in a factory. So I do think SK Innovation probably has some at least backroom handshake deals uh, with automakers for their battery supply. So who that could be? Well, they already work with Mercedes and Hyundai, which could be an indicator but Mercedes is also building their own battery plant uh, nearby, so I don't know if it's them. So it really could be Hyundai, Kia. Uh, that region has manufacturing from those two manufacturers. Also, uh, Nissan is not too far away with their uh, Leaf plant in uh, Tennessee. So this is really sort of an ideally located battery manufacturing facility. And like I said, it radically increases the number of 200 mile electric vehicles that could be built and produced in the United States. Even GM, right? I mentioned the uh, Holland plant with LG Chem. They could easily absorb all of the battery production that that LG Chem plant in Holland is capable of producing. And so I doubt that they've done this or will do this, but GM, if they see a huge run in demand and decide to escalate their Bolt EV and other EV production further, right? They have the new electric component plant going in in a Hazel Park. Well, they could use SK Innovations batteries, maybe even just a small contract or whatever, to produce an extra 10, 15, 20, 30,000 EVs a year. So this is good all the way around. And like I said, it's sort of convenient that this story happens around the same time that GM announced that transition because they got a lot of criticism, in my mind, for essentially making a transition that's going to allow them to build electric vehicles. And, oh, well, it's going to cost jobs and it's a bad call and switching to electric vehicles is bad for the economy. We just had a foreign company invest a billion dollars in the United States domestic infrastructure. It's going to be bring hundreds, if not thousands of jobs to that region. This is a big win. So anybody who says that electric vehicles are bad for the economy, they're just not being genuine. They're probably bought and paid for by some special interest that is going to lose money as we transition away from fossil fuel driven vehicles. So I think this is a huge win, like I said, for everybody. People have been asking, well, where is Hyundai gonna get the batteries for their Kona Electric? Where is Kia gonna get the batteries for their e the one that they just announced that's 
looking really awesome with its CCS charging uh, and over probably 200 mile, or 240 miles of electric range. Well, where are they going to get the batteries for that? Well, this could be an option. So people were worried that maybe there was going to be a bottleneck and we weren't going to have enough of these vehicles. Well, this SK Innovation plant in Georgia could address that or solve that issue. And so, yes, we have a company like Tesla with their Gigafactory that's you know, producing enough batteries right now for hundreds of thousands of EVs a year, they're likely to sustain at least 100,000 domestic sales of Tesla Model 3s each year. But wouldn't that be great if that 100,000, 150,000 Tesla Model 3s that are sold domestically were joined by 50,000 Volt EVs and 50,000 Kona Electrics and 50,000 Kia e Niro's and 50,000 Mercedes EQC's. That is a huge win for everybody involved. It starts to provide a lot more choices uh, for electric vehicles. These low or no compromise electric vehicles, long range, fast charging. Uh, and of course, it's going to help bring down the battery prices. The competition is also going to be a huge uh, win for consumers. And like I said, these are new jobs. These are working class jobs. These are jobs in areas of the country that are going to need new jobs. So uh, like I said, I'm really happy to hear this news. I'm surprised it's not getting more press coverage than it is. Uh, but I guess that's why I'm here is to talk about things that other people aren't really talking about in the electric vehicle sector. So I'd love to hear what you think. Have you heard anything else about new infrastructure, new factories going in and uh, electric vehicle battery supplies. Who do you think that SK Innovation is probably going to be working with in the United States for domestic production of electric vehicles? Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel and uh, thank you for watching.